Greetings, I am Decur. Hello, Decur, welcome. They have allowed me to come first so that I could give the final uh, words on the and updates about the government meetings and about the condition of the timeline and things of this nature. So I will do that and then I will be on my way because I know that there are others that want to speak. Today I can report to you that many of you had spoken at the government meetings and yes I was listening and all those who believe that they have spoken were actually there. There was quite a few people there, but only 28 spoke. Now, those of you who spoke were very eloquent. You did a good job. Some of you only spoke for very short periods of time. Others, the longest speech was a little over 45 minutes, but that was from someone who was very experienced in all of these things. So therefore, it was a wonderful conference and many things were uh, spoken about and uh, things became a lot more clear to us that they were moving forward. I think that my last report from my the last time that I was here uh, speaks for itself the there instead of 15 countries wanting first contact there were 33 and instead of them just uh, dismissing a lot of subjects they were asked actually discussed uh, much better this time even though we did not get their approval about a lot of things uh, it still was a lot closer to an open conversation than we have ever had before. So that is a beautiful and wonderful thing. Any questions about that before I move into the other subject matter? Here is Leela. I have a very short question. Was I in the government meeting and did I speak? You, yes and yes. You were wow. there. You were there two of the six and a half days and you did speak on Saturday night. That was the night that uh, the Saturday evening was when the humans started to speak and they spoke until uh, later, later in a Sunday. There was several interruptions, of course, and several different things in between each speaker. So it lasted quite a while for 28 speakers. But what? yes, you did. You but you didn't speak for very long. Okay. You only spoke uh, for about fifteen to seventeen minutes. Uh, is is what I remember. What and was the subject? The subject you talked the about unity uh, between humans, and uh, you talked about spiritual unity. You talked about uh, unity with the aliens, and about. Uh, the treatment of mankind and alien kind and brought everything into a very spiritual uh, form because you you believed that they should be treated with kindness and goodness and you believe that uh, the governments are a little bit harsh about dealing with them and so you were a, a, a little bit um, unhappy about some of the things you had heard. Thank you. You are welcome. I have a few questions for you, Tika, regarding this government meeting and the cabal. Yes. I received the message that I have been talking with the draconians from the cabal a lot lately. Yes. And the elite also. I don't know what we talked about and agreed on. Well, there has, you realize that the, the incident that happened that caused the timeline ionization and the tachyon problem was caused by Cabal. And therefore, you were sent to speak to Cabal as one of those that were asking questions about what actually happened. You realize that the Syrians were also here to do that as well, but they had involved some humans to take on that role as well. You were not one of the scientists, but one of the 
uh, ones that were to be questioning the humans. And the reason for humans to be involved with that is because sometimes the Syrians, being very high dimensional, do not always understand some of the answers that the humans give. And the humans can set, shed some light on and understanding on where the human portion of the cabal is coming from and they understand from their reasoning where some of the other uh, alien uh, species and draconians etc are coming from so there was a lot of talk and it was necessary to find out what actually transpired Okay, very nice. I have a f there. Something is confusing me here. Um, I know that the not not all of the cabal are, are in fourth dimension or, or fifth dimension. No. So when we are in astral body, um, how I mean, how can they see me and, and interact with me? You can go to fourth dimension in your astral body, but you cannot go any higher. You are not built your astral self is not built to go into higher dimensions however they can come to see you uh, higher dimensions can move backwards into from other dimensions so and that takes some technology but it is able to be done okay and one other question about that is who sent me and what you volunteered actually you volunteered and actually the Oracle uh, approved that you should go. Oh, the Oracle. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that is... Is that, not, is that not what you thought? Well, um, I didn't think he would interfere with, uh, with such things, but... It is not that he interfered with such things, or she. I'm not sure if the oracle is male or female. But mm -hmm. I, it is allowed that you could interfere because you would have the ability to help in this situation. But he himself did not interfere. No, he does it for me. No, he would not. Yes. But he would allow you to, since you are a human and this is your world. Okay, very good. Well, thank you very much. I hope we agree on things there and, and well, heal yeah. all the cabal thing that has been going on for a long time. Well, the, it has reached, actually it's at 95% now. Yesterday it was at 93%. But the clearing has been up to 95% now, and the event has been stopped so therefore you do not stop praying for the uh, uh, tachyon particles and the different ionizations to stop there are reports about this from all over the world uh, even after I started to tell you about what is going on and Ish was telling some people as well there's been reports afterwards that the timeline was ionized or they are finding ionization in the atmosphere and things of this nature and many of the uh, information much of the information that was given ahead of time is now coming out through other sources so but it has been stopped the event has been stopped there is still some um, tachyon particles and ionization going on in the atmosphere but so continue to pray so that it becomes less and less they're hoping for a 98 or 99 percent uh, evacuation of the, those particles come Sunday uh, hi Tucker, how are you? I am in good spirits. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to put something out there for those who are listening. Um, you and I spoke about the fact that that thing might um, disrupt the mental sense of certain uh, beings that already went to their home planet and yeah. in order for us to achieve good first contact and 
many sightings around the world, then we should maybe encourage them to come back. So I already volunteered to speak with different races, and if other wish to do the same, then they should be encouraged as well. The information has been shared, and yes, this will happen in some, not all of them will return, but some of them will, and um, it will be a good thing for them to do so. Uh, also, I want to ask you about that initiative that I uh, spoke with you about, that you, uh, you said that you need to take it to the Arcturian Council. Is and it, it has been done. Was it approved? There has been no word on it at this point. They will be deliberating on it probably for a little longer. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Gia <laughs> Mm. Um, and who else is speaking? Yeah, we have uh, me and Christine. And before I go, I wanted to ask if there is on, uh, anyone who is participating from the cell phone and cannot see the list. So maybe you can speak up now. Anyone participating from a cell phone? Is that what you said? Yes. Anyone from smartphone which cannot see the list? Can you? Do you want to ask a question? So. All right. So my question is, um, what, except Gorkvitnir, what other alien alliances were participating in the, in the meeting? Well, there are many alien alliances that have humans in them as well, like Ashtar Command and the light workers uh, of the, the galactic light workers. The uh, Orion Council was helpful, the Octorian Councils that are separate from the Gurkfitnir Victorian consuls, the Council of Nine, many of the others. There was many that were involved in helping and sending information around the uh, different galaxies. Wow. So it's a pretty big meeting. It was a very big meeting. Also, you remember, uh, the L groups are also involved, and so is... Um, uh, Remulac and his area, and there are the whale and dolphin councils have some participation, but they're not directly involved uh, at times because they are pretty remote at this point. But they are coming back toward this area. Well, but how the, would they participate? They kind of, you know, whales are pretty big. Yes. Well, they have their own alliance and they can send uh, information to their own on the planet. The whale and dolphin dolphins on this planet are associated with them in some ways, especially the dolphins are holding a great deal of light for the planet. So the whales, of course, are, are similar, but they do not have the communication uh, network that the dolphins have. Uh, my question was physically uh in which form do they appear? How do, I mean, the members of the government possibly expect some beings of their size. Yes. And whales would be too big for them to participate. So are they sending a human instead or how do they participate? Oh, they just show themselves in a smaller size. You oh, do not so have to member, show yourself so, in a large size to be a part of the meeting. You can, you can show yourself even though you are at a great size, you can manipulate what is being seen by the others. So for, for newcomers like Trump, it would be, I think, pretty mind-blowing to see a whale speaking in a smaller size. It would be quite a destruction. A destruction. Well, they have... Been, that. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. They, they do not usually speak. The trinary language that is of the whales and the dolphins is hard to understand for any most species because so many words are spoken at one time within the sound frame of their uh, species. So there is only a few other alien species that can actually communicate with them properly. Uh, we are working on translators for them we can understand them to a certain extent if they uh, speak very basically. But um, they do not usually speak at the meetings, but they usually show their support.
by being there at least for a day or two. I guess to keep the government uh, more more focused, I would suggest strange-looking animals should send a human-looking representatives to speak for them. Because it's just Actually, too distracting to speak to a whale. Actually, that has been discussed. But it is up to each species to bring their own uh, look to the meetings, if you will. We do not tell them what they should do because we are not, that is not the protocol for this particular meeting. Um, if you are going to show up at this meeting, it is volunteer, it's a volunteer uh, uh, kind of thing. And so they, they volunteer. Some do show up in a more human looking capacity and others just come as they are. Yeah, my other recommendation would be if you if you're gonna show on a government meeting, just to avoid distracting the politicians, uh, use an, an human looking interpreter. So the, well, the focus would be on the interpreter because otherwise it's really hard for humans to speak to animals and other strange beings. It's just scary for them. And that is why we have the humans speak to Wonderful. the government as well, because the humans are on their actually many of the humans that spoke developed some very interesting speeches and those communications were the ones that were listened to the most carefully in some ways because they wanted to hear what their own species had to say about what is going on with their world and with the world outside of their own world. Wonderful. Uh, my other question was the topics discussed uh, was economy discussed? Are we discussing the timing for the big economy change? They did discuss the economy, but there are several of your countries that do not want to discuss economic problems because they are in the midst of them and they don't want to draw attention to themselves. But of course, all the other countries are already aware of who they are and how they are managing. So. At this point, the economic crisis has been pushed back a little ways because things have, because of the way that things have been run in the United States, it has caused some fear and uh, anxiety among some countries, and they have pulled up their, uh, they have tightened their financial uh, ways so as not to be even more vulnerable. Thank you. Um, I wonder if Blue Sphere Alliance was represented. Which part? Which part? Blue Sphere Alliance with triangular heads and... Um, oh, yes. Well, they are there. They do not usually speak. They have spoken only once in a government meeting, but uh -huh. they usually are there to show their support. Wonderful. Are there uh, runaway, uh, the human runaway civilization, are they represented officially? Are they uh, political, politically represented? They are shown in some ways with alliances to the, the uh, species that they are with. Oh, wow. I see. Uh, are the Agarthans present? The Agarthans are not present. Unfortunately, um, there's a long reason, there's many reasons why they are, are not present, but they, they will be present in the future. But at this time, because of some of the ways that some of their people believe, they are not present at the moment. Uh, we invite their representation at least symbolically, so there would be at least some person representing them, or a group yes. of people. We they don't absolutely. have to be fully authorized, but just to be a uh, holding the space, I guess, for the future representation. We have uh, invited them every time. Wonderful. Uh, are men in black represented in any way? Actually, men in black do come. They mm -hmm. do not speak, but they are actually there. In uh, they, Since they are part of the earth, they come in their own area, and they are represented in third dimension. 
Mm -hmm. uh, how many of the, we know five reptilian species of various uh, friendly, friendliness to Earth. How many of them were represented? Two. The most friendly ones? Correct. Wonderful, thank you. Elia Shondai Zendi and the friendly species. The Zespoid of species could not attend this time, but um, Grindel did attend. He is Zespoid. Uh, I wow. guess he was the only one from his species able to attend. So we did not give them credit for their whole species attending, but one of their species did. So I guess three in reality of the reptilians that are friendly did show up. Grindel did show up for one day. Did he speak? Grindel did speak for a short time. Wow. All right, that's all I had. Thank you very much. Great, great news. Um, uh, next is Christine. Christine. Greetings, Greetings to her. Good um, to hear. I was going to add, <laughs> on Friday, when you mentioned this to some of us already about this meeting, one of the things that you had said was on um, President, um, gratefully I have forgotten his name. Um, anyway, the president had um, appeared and he was playing the power game or you thought that um, because he is so much into power that for him to admit that there are um, aliens around in the United States probably wouldn't happen or that's what I got from from what you had said well he realizes that they are there he just did the the surprise was he did not speak and that is against his nature and it is against how he is as an individual but he was I think that he was advised not to speak and at this point he had opened his mouth a couple times but he had stopped himself from speaking. But he is using technologies to get what he wants in this lifetime. But so he does not want to anyone to know this, but everything that he does that is not correct has been still acceptable. Have you noticed that? Yes, what I was going to um, ask, though, is would the other countries um, jointly get together and announce um, ETs or um, extraterrestrials on the planet just to um, undermine him? No, or sort of, they're no. afraid of him. But um, there are some countries that do not care, and there are disclosures, little by little, in different smaller countries and uh, other areas of the world in in smaller ways there are disclosures but they are happening more often these days and we are happy to see that they are starting to uh, elude to the fact that there are other powers outside of the earth by uh, not saying the word alien necessarily but by <coughs> by not saying where their information is coming from, but it is obvious that it is from us. There's more um, cable, not cable, but, but um, DirecTV has a lot of history channel where they're exploring aliens. And um, I, found that, I found that really amazing. Yes, and many of their, well, not all, but many of their scenarios are fairly accurate. They put a, they still put a negative light on aliens, in many in many cases. However, they are giving them credit for a lot of the things that they are finding on the planet that were made by the alien populations, uh, so such as Puma Pumka, and uh, the Incan and Mayan cultures, the many things in the Egyptian culture, many things like this, they're, they're showing that there has been alien influences, even in Stonehenge and in the, uh, there's buried pyramids all over the planet 
and different kinds of pyramids, but pyramids being the energy of fields that are necessary for uh, transporters and communications and things of this nature. With, on these, um, I understand that um, they don't have the same channels or stations um, all over the United States. Only some um, communities or some cities allow some things to be shown. Um, yes, is there that are what some censorship things in effect with some broadcasting networks. Uh, some of them are, you have to understand, many people on your planet are, have fear-based lives. And when they have a fear-based life, they, uh, they censor the things that they are afraid of. Yes. I was hoping the kids would be sneaky and kind of, you know, go Actually, and... Actually, the children see a lot more than you think. Because they have the internet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you, Tukur. Yes. Blessings to you. Blessings as well. Perhaps I should move on. I do. Is there any more questions? I have a couple more people asking, and um, I, I, I don't know. You announced the the good news on the on the timeline fixing. Maybe there are more updates on that. Is there more what? So, is it the, everything you wanted to announce about the timeline? Uh, trouble? Yes, it, had, it is at ninety five percent at this time, and that means that the event the negative event that would have happened it has been averted there will be no negative event associated with the timeline problems oh, let me clarify so this was really the flow of time damaged or it was just a catastrophe which was um, was more like in 3d and uh, it would change the, the fate of humanity how do you interpret the word timeline it was a 3d event however and it was caused by humans. Yes. And many of them were cabal-based individuals. And that is uh, where the problem was because they pushed forward too quickly and this event was not supposed to ha happen until later in your timeline. So now it happened early, so that changed the events of your timeline and also uh, it ionized or uh, your timeline and caused a great deal of tachyon emission which has been cleared up by the way and because of this particular event another event could have happened if your timeline was not 93 percent cleared by this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time we're using Eastern Standard Time because that's where we are at this time. Uh huh. So, um, was it an intentional um, harm? Did the cabal was trying no, to harm? No, they were not trying. Just an intelligence. They were doing something illegal, though, but they were not uh, trying to do what what happened. What happened oh. was an accident, but I see. they were not doing a positive thing. They, but the thing is, they weren't trying to do what they what they did, uh, but they weren't in a positive realm or mode when they were doing what they were doing, and therefore, that makes it doubly harmful in some ways. But they did not accomplish what they set out to do, and so mm -hmm. it's hard to. It's hard right. to explain all the different facts around that without telling you what happened, uh, and I'm mm -hmm. not permitted to do that. I think they want us to continue the fake timeline. The fake timeline? Yes, the matrix. Well, your timeline must continue. I know that there are many different ideas about what the timelines are and how they are being managed and what is wrong and right with them and they have been overly intellectualized by your peoples at times so just uh, understand that this timeline is the one that is 
prophesied about, and that is the one that must continue. So we must try to keep it as healthy as possible. And at this point, it has returned to um, most of its health, but not completely. But do not do not let them tell you that this is a timeline that needs to go away because that is a deception that they want everyone to believe and it is not true there are those that do not want this timeline to continue because they have been told that it is not that it is a false timeline or that it is not the timeline that it should be and because there is all this negativity that happens in this timeline that this is a sign that it is a false timeline that is not necessarily true so be careful pray about what you believe and pray that the truth come through to you and that you are not listening to intellectualized jargon about something that's actually very simple. The timeline is not something that has been manipulated by other species or other uh, by the Time Lords because the Time Lords would not allow that to happen. So they are here to bring as much purity as possible to the universe as they know it. So purity is if they would allow another species or draconians or whatever to manipulate a timeline, that would be against all things that are in the universal law. You also mentioned uh, the tachyon emission, and I believe yeah. tachyons are related to time flow. So was the time flow in our um, reality damaged somehow? Yes. So we experienced acceleration in time, like I a, cannot a go acceleration. because your governments have deemed this a top secret uh, thing. We have discussed it as far as we are allowed to. I could. There are some on your planet that know exactly what has happened, but to mm -hmm. actually tell you is not permitted by me. Okay. But uh, was that acceleration of time which I experienced uh, connected to that? It, it could have been, yes. Okay. Uh, sure is next. Thank you much. You're welcome. Uh, the curve, so we also spoke about that. Uh, I compared notes with other people that I know, that I know that they were pushed to this timeline uh, for good reasons. And I also spoke with you about the fact that that uh, scenario was actually happened uh, very soon before it it uh, actually need to happen so I do think that all the signs shows that this is the best timeline actually if I uh, take all the different puzzle pieces and um, basically I'm, I'm very hopeful and one other thing it seems that every time there's a crisis but it's been averted and it's actually become more positive, like every time we learn something about faith or trust and every time um, we act because we need to act, but things do go according to the great scheme of things. It is true that much faith was built and much healing was sent to this particular event and this strengthened the ascension because people acted in a strong and positive way. And they, those people that acted the strongest and the most powerfully were actually, uh, are now much brighter lights in the Ascension world. Does that make sense to you? Yes, this is exactly what I ask, asked you uh, when we spoke, that if this uh, scenario was actually a good thing after all like it it had its positive outcomes yes it could have had very um, negative outcomes but because so many from so many places and mostly from earth were involved 
it was a, v a very positive thing. Believe it or not, many people who are not involved in human colony or in uh, many of the things that we are involved in as a group heard about this and were praying and sending energy also. They heard it from other areas. There were other things channeled to them and they were brought into the understanding of what was going on. So the information traveled quickly around the world and many were actually doing um, energy healing even before they knew that there was an event. Yeah, I think that lesson is to act when needed and to have a quick response and I know that for next time um, things will be even more productive. Of course they will. Uh, are there any more questions in Jim's room on the topic or anywhere on, on the topic of um, the timeline damage and um, government meeting? Um, just quickly, I wonder if I was at the meeting? Yes. Okay. You were at the meeting, Erica. Okay, thank you. And you were at the meeting the last two times, and this one as well. So three times in a row. Barbara wants to know if she was at the meeting. This time you were. You were not at the last meeting. Your health was not high enough for that. But this meeting, your health was better. And so, yes, you did join us this time. Yeah. You did speak uh, next a is, little bit and said that you agreed with some of the things that were spoken, but you did not have a speech prepared. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> uh, next is Andrew. <laughs> Hello, Tika. Hello. Greetings. Greetings, Tika. Uh, I've just gone through a uh, sort of another layer of awakening, and it appears like I'm getting more memory back. And I have a memory of having a, a conversation with you, which lasted what felt like about twenty hours. <laughs> Could you? Just give me a general idea of what that was all about. Well, we did not speak for 20 hours, but <laughs> okay. it may appear like that because whenever the time differentials between uh, fourth dimension and third dimension come about you and your memory returns, the subconscious may uh, find that it's looping around in, in that wow. memory because it was such a strong memory for that time. We are now trying to work with uh, the subconscious of humans to help them remember some of the their uh, attendance to the colonies and attendance to these government meetings and things of this nature. We did have a conversation. It was more of about a, a 50 or, or maybe even an hour long and it was about uh, your spiritual awakening and doing uh, extra. You have come a long way in a short time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so a lot of discussion about that and how to maintain a growth without um, going too fast. And because um, you have a tendency to learn very quickly and want to move very quickly. But... Remember, understand all the things that you are, are gathering and bring them into full understanding before you move so quickly forward. And that's what we were talking about mostly. Okay, that was great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I guess we'll see you soon. <laughs> of course. Thank you, Sika. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Any more questions to the curve? Thank you. I think we are done to occur with, uh, with, with the questions. Excellent. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And there are others waiting to come in.